Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, we welcome you to yet another episode of the Ugandan podcast. Uh, right here, of course, you know we discuss government policies, pro- programs and projects, and everything in between. And on top of that, we bring you some of the most amazing Ugandans to share on different types of uh, stuff that we share in this country. It could be her lifestyle, it could be health, it could be business, it could be anything. And on those same grounds, guess what we have today? We have Miss Masi Kainowisho. She is the Registrar General and also the Executive Director of the Uganda Registration Services Bureau, URSB commonly known. And uh, I'm glad that I got to say it in full this time, right? <laughs> you are welcome to the Ugandan podcast. Thank you very much, yeah. uh, Brandy. I'm happy to be here and I've been looking forward. Yeah, we are glad that you're finally here. And uh, I want us to get into this conversation because our economy of recent just runs onto SMEs, small, medium enterprises. And uh, that means there's a lot of business going on, registration, and so much more. But before we get into it, uh, if someone met you and asked you, who is Masi Kainowisho, what would you share? Oh, <laughs> do I know yeah. who I am? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Well, um, Masi uh, K. Kainowisho is a Ugandan a citizen uh, that loves uh, her country so much. Mm. And is a mother, is a wife, is an entrepreneur, is a leader, is a, a dancer, is yeah. a, an artist, is... Is everything yeah. uh, good? Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that you're good to like break it down in those same forms. I know you are a Ugandan lawyer. You are a, a business corporate uh, executive, and then you're also the Registrar General. What do seven days in your What do the seven days of your week look like, roughly? Well, uh, my my days are always uh, are busy, uh, but I also create time for me. Yeah. Because I believe that to be uh, uh, the best uh, leader, to be a good lawyer, to be a good uh, entrepreneur, to be a good uh, social uh, uh, person or uh, a citizen, you need to find time to be you and uh, read and study and relax as well. Mm -hmm. So I spend my weekdays doing work, uh, government service. I spend my evening sometimes doing government work, uh, but family is uh, key. As uh, So I spend my time uh, with family, uh, especially evenings and weekend, but also some rotary work, uh, as well as uh, studying, reading, more is reading books <laughs> and reading documents. Like now I've been reading um, about uh, Uganda since 19... 19- uh, 1894, yeah. since we became a protectorate, have been just reminding ourselves where did we come from um, yeah. and where we are at. Because yeah. I've seen so many people as we celebrate 60 years, many people are resigned. They're like, What do we celebrate? I'm like, Come on, mm-hmm. do you know where we came from True. as a country? Yeah. There's a lot of things that we have done yeah. as a state. We should not politic. There's a lot of transformation that has taken place. So we need to go back to the books and know how Uganda was yeah. before uh, independence, independence yeah. and see where it is True. after independence. Yeah. And so I, I'm enjoying and loving my country much more, uh, every, better every day yeah. as I serve. Thank you. You're actually the right person to have on our podcast today, basing on the fact that Uganda is making 60 this year. We're just going to get into that conversation a bit later. But basically, let's start with the work you do. What are the top uh, mandates and services offered by URSB? Um, Uganda Registration Services Bureau is a government institution. This was uh, a, a, a department under the Ministry of Justice. It was uh, called the Registrar General's Department until 2010 when we became semi-autonomous we are set up by an, an act of parliament of 1998, which is the Uganda Registration Services Bureau Act, CAP 210. And uh, our mandate is very clear to register. Mm. We almost register everything, mm. save for a few. We run a number of registers under the 21 acts of parliament that we implement and 18 uh, regulations or implementing regulations mm. uh, uh, there are under and Brandy, if you may allow me to break down the registries so that we understand better 
uh, what we do. Yes, please. Uganda Registration Services Bureau is uh, registers uh, business names under the business names uh, registrations law. Uh, it, we register companies under the Companies Act uh, uh, of uh, uh, 2012, but it's just recently been amended. So we're talking about an amendment of 2022. Uh, Uganda Registration Services Bureau registers document, documents, uh, powers of attorney, agreements, um, and any uh, legal document that has been uh, signed by members and attested to or, or commissioned or witnessed. Mm -hmm. And these are registered under the Documents Registrations, uh, or Registration of Documents Act. Uh, Uganda Registration Services Bureau also registers partnerships mm -hmm. under the Partnership Act. And uh, uh, Uganda Registration Services Bureau registers insolvency under the Insolvency uh, Act and the regulations there under. And we also target on uh, rescuing as many businesses out there as possible yeah. because that's also part of our mandate. Uh, Uganda Registration Services Bureau has a register of security interest in movable property. And this is uh, under the Security Interest in Movable Property Act of 2019. Yes. Uh, we uh, register intellectual property in the different aspects. We have the trademarks that we register under the Trademarks Act. Mm. We have uh, service marks still under the same act. We have designs under the same act. We have industrial property that we register, which is uh, uh, patents, uh, utility models, uh, technovations, and industrial designs under the Industrial Property Act of 2014. We also register copyright under the Copyright and Neighboring Rights Law of 2006. We are in charge of trade secrets protection <laughs> under the Trade Secrets Protection Act of 2009. Yeah. We have traditional knowledge uh, that is protected under the copyright system, but we're also formulating a sui generis law mm. that is going to take care of traditional traditional knowledge and folk role, which involves musical works, traditional medicines, traditional artistic works, traditional assets. Backcloth. Uganda and registration, and, yes, yeah. and backcloth and, yeah. and uh, things like that. Uganda Registration Services B also has uh, registers to do with uh, uh, the uh, yes formation and, and cessation of uh, businesses. The, the whole list is endless, ranging from business registration uh, intellectual property, mm. uh, 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 intellect, uh, intellectual property, uh, and uh, civil registration. Civil registration is very key. This morning, I tweeted something on marriage, and uh, you know, many people take things for granted. Mm. We are registrars of marriage under uh, the different laws in Uganda. Our our Act on uh, the Marriages Act and other acts that emanate from that are of nineteen zero four. 1904 and, uh, uh, and Uganda still has practical yes now. yes and they're still practical we are amending them to modify and take care of the new revolutions and emerging issues okay. so we have a register of marriages yes. and these civil marriages uh, we have five categories of marriages in Uganda civil marriages we have customary marriages mm. we have ch church marriages we have Hindu and Mohammedan marriages we have uh, uh, Muslim marriages we have all these that are authorized. So, so do we also we have contract marriages? Oh uh, well, no, not not as such. Yeah. But a marriage is an agreement <laughs> between people, <laughs> so it's more of a contract. Yeah. So it can only be invalidated by courts of judicature, either by a decree of divorce. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's only a divorce or talak if you are Muslim okay. once you're married, and if it is customary, depending on the cultural uh, provisions. If they say taking back dowry or just saying you're quitting, depending on the customs, that is also a separation or, or divorce in courts. Okay. So we also have a register of civil marriages. But uh, another register of interest is a register of single single persons, uh, uh, those who are not married. Because <laughs> we if have you're not to married, register. No, if you, you intend to marry abroad, okay. uh, you will be required by the government yes. of that state where you're getting married to have a certificate of no impediment to marry yes. or single status certificate. And it is issued by our, our registry and uh, it interests many young people. So you see, Brandy, we have over 30 registers yes. that we take care of. And the first, you can imagine, these are laws of 1904. Uh, some of them have been amended uh, uh, accordingly. And we have registers that run as far as uh, back as that, yeah. 1910, 1910, the first company to be registered in Uganda, is it was registered in 1912. 
the first intellectual property, first trademark was registered in 1913. So we have all these registers and records and the known people, the changes in ownership and all that. So we hold critical yeah. information. But we also don't stop on registration mm. or uh, maintaining registers. Yeah. We also sensitize the public. We have uh, a neighbor communication team. We sensitize the public every day on our services. We uh, partner with uh, different entities, ministries, departments, and agencies to promote the registration services as much as we also want to reduce the informal sector because, uh, like you mentioned on uh, about SMEs from the uh, beginning of your statement, yes. yes, we're looking at a formalized society. It is a formalized society in terms of formalizing businesses, in terms of formalizing documentation. People have agreements. They've never registered them. Mm. But sometimes they're not enforceable in courts of judicature. Mm. If you have registered your agreement, it, it, it gives that legal, evidential value, mm. the same as uh, your marriage, the same as uh, your intellectual property. And we have highly innovative people, and I'm glad that the Ministry of uh, ICT and National Guidance has a component of uh, promoting innovation and has been promoting uh, innovations of young people. And Very actually, has so. the Ministry has supported us to come up with a system that is going to be a game changer yeah. with regard to online business registration systems and intellectual property. Yes, we shall come to that system shortly. But the most important thing right now is top three reasons why I should feel entitled to register my business. Because either way, some people are making money without uh, these registrations. And why should one make this registration? Yes, uh, such an interesting question, uh, Brandy, because many people ask, what is in it for me? Mm. You know, why should I? Oh, <laughs> is like, why should I? Yeah. I've been running this Kaduka. I've been running this Kiosik. I've been riding my border. Yeah. I've been selling my Mandazi on the street. What is the benefit? True. Uh, this society, like any other society, has different calibers of businesses. Yes. Running from micro to small to medium and large enterprises. True. And Save for a few businesses that start large. Many of these businesses start small. Mm. In our garages, just on the phone now, you start a small, it comes as a small idea. Before you know it, you're tweeting, you're sharing it on the social media pages, and it's becoming big. And you're telling your friends how you're yes. going to buy a Range Rover in the next four years. Yes, yes. <laughs> and <laughs> so I, I'm telling you, and it things happen. So we've been packaging messages out there that registration of your business is as good as you having also an identifier. Yeah. Imagine, Brandy, you didn't have a name. Yeah. I don't know how I would call you. I would, refer, I would say a beautiful brown lady with beautiful eyes, you know. Yeah. Okay. I, I, but there are so many beautiful brown ladies with around lovely Kamp eyes that's around so, Kampala. Yeah, that's so true. So imagine describing your business as a business that deals in mangoes and juices. Mm -hmm. But even when you give it a name, it has to be baptized. Yeah. So there's Brandy, but there's Brandy who has been baptized and has a national ID. Yes, and she's or Brandy a passport. Azure, so yes. that when the next person and even comes. in identification of persons yeah. legally, even when you look at the laws and the cases in in history, you say um, Mukasa son of Mukasa. Uh, uh, eh? yeah. So that you separate even the Mukasas because there can be many Mukasas, yes. but son of who from this. Yeah. Even when you are serving as, as an affidavit, actually, and a statutory declaration, yeah. we insist yeah. on your description that I am Brandy uh, of P.O. Box, of Sound Mind, of P.O. Box, this and this, all from Kabbalah, oh, you know, all those mm. things. Mm. So that they link you to identity. So identity is very key mm. to individuals. Yeah. You find people saying, I'm from uh, this uh, uh, clan, uh, Nedilachi, you know, those things. Mm. It's part of identity. Musukuluani. Yes, Musukuluani, uh, Agalamidewa, uh, you know, those things. Yes. Eh? So, it's not entertainment. It's identity. <laughs> it's yes. identity. Yes, please. So as much as we need identity, and as much as identity is important for individuals, individuals or persons, yeah. it is also important for non-individuals. Yeah. And in non-individuals under the law are entities. Yes. Like creatures that are created by an act of parliament, entities that are registered under the Companies Act, Entities that are registered under the Cooperative Societies Act, entities that have that legal personality, yes. the right to sue and to be sued, or entities that may not have the legal personality mm -hmm. but have 
some level of protection in as far as the names are concerned. Oh, yeah, yeah. So what is the benefit of registering a business, for example? Yeah. A business can be classified, by the way. A business can be registered either as a business name under the Business Names Act, or you say brandy, brandy juices, yeah. trading uh, and, uh, under that brand name. Pineapple and, juice. And yes, pineapple juice. juice. Yeah. Yeah. And then you you pay 24000 just fill a simple form and you get a certificate of registration so you can transact at least people know you mm. that this is brandy's business but trading as this yeah. so that does not give you the legal personality but it gives you the identity protection true That's then one. there's yeah. businesses that are registered as companies yes and companies are also categorized we have company single single member companies where you just you as a single Person, just one person, yes. just as your business, your company, without any other person. And before 2012, the law was that any two or more people can register a company in Uganda. Mm. But after the amendment of 2012, it is any one or more people can register a company in Uganda. Mm. So that's a single member company. Then the other category of a company is a, a, a private, of course, company limited by shares, uh, or a company, uh, a public company. Uh, we have uh, foreign companies. If you are a foreigner, or you have foreign business, and you extend to register it to to operate it in Uganda, you require to register it. Yeah. And these are businesses that are registered elsewhere around uh, outside Uganda, and you s- extend here as a branch. So we give you a certificate of registration. Mm. So there are different categories of businesses. So after you have Assess what kind of business that you need to register. Mm. We tell you, of course, the benefits are identity. Mm. I mentioned it. Mm. The legal existence. You can uh, transact in the company name yes. without having to front your identity as a person. Mm. Uh, th- you can trade across borders using your company name. True. You can expand. You can uh, participate in government contracting because government does not... Uh, give you any contract when you're not registered. When you're not registered, like yeah, how, yes, why? Yes. <laughs> uh, the issues of sustainability, issues of uh, 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 future-proofing your company because, uh, I mean, uh, you ha- the, the, life sh- the, the life of a company should outlive you. Yeah. When you're gone, at least the company will keep running. True. We have so many companies, I've told you, the first company that was registered in 1912 in Uganda, it is still operational. Which which company is that, just out of curiosity? No, I wouldn't want to mention okay, companies, okay, okay. Uh, but but we have it, if you yeah. want it, but I can say it. it's historical. No, I, I, maybe they would feel offended, because <laughs> okay. I, I, I'm a lawyer, so yeah, I don't want to be sued. That's so, true. But it is here, it is active. Yeah. It is very, very active. Okay. Um, I, 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 unless there's a disclaimer, mm. I can give it as an example, unless there's protection out there uh but 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 it's kampala club anyway mm, yeah kampala club yes i, I hope they know that this yeah. is the first the so so you can imagine it's still active uh, some of you are members some of us are members yeah, of the people club. Are, they're members all yes, over the yes, place yes, they so, go there to run yes, so, so 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 many yeah. you wouldn't want to know the first uh, uh, trademark that was registered in Uganda. It was an alcoholic drink. Yeah. So let's leave it at <laughs> that. You can imagine. Yeah. So not that uh, Uganda, but anyway, yeah. that's, that's for fun. But um, uh, there are so many benefits you can see I of agree. registration of a business. So, but to unpack it for an ordinary person, mm. I mean, that, those are still the same benefits because you cannot expand from that mudala to open another mudala in Nakawa market or, or, or when you, know, market, when, yeah. when you, do, you cannot even get a loan. Yeah. That's another benefit. Okay. I talked about the security interest in movable property registry that we have. It's a registry that enables you to get loans mm. using any movable property as collateral. As collateral. Like your phone. Your phone may be valued at five million. Ha! Um, Is it? And, uh, okay. Uh, so you can get a loan yeah. of like three million. Okay. Eh? Okay. No, and you don't have to deposit it with us. No, no. You just it has to be valued. You take it to any commercial bank or any uh, financial institution, and they register it on our system, which is electronic, and it will be caveated. It'll be like this phone in the names of Brandy is caveated by a bank. This bank, uh, she borrowed two two million. And uh, you keep paying, okay. so it's security. Yeah. So and 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 you can use the same system to uh, uh, use your car as collateral. Use your your plants. You don't have to own land like uh, plants, the crops. On someone, garden, on someone else's land. On someone else's land. Okay. Uh, you can uh, uh, 
use the cattle, cattle yeah. if you have a farm, anything yeah. that is movable and has value yeah. uh, can be used okay. uh, for that purpose. So basically we have all systems or registries that are enablers mm. to transactions. People register your businesses, yourselves, your your property and today honestly uh, miss kind of wish has come to educate us and now as you had mentioned earlier that ministry of ict has been uh, pushing a lot of innovations in this ecosystem and uh, people develop innovations and all of a sudden sell them for less and the other part the buyer makes more out of it how does this happen and how can we enable our country people to push their innovations till the time when they are reaping big out of them thank you brandy that's a super question Thank you. It's a super question because we have so many young people out there yeah. that uh, may have lost a lot of opportunity through uh, these transactions. Mm. And we have a highly innovative uh, population. True. And the fact that uh, we are the second youngest, largest population in the world uh, means that Uganda has mostly young people who are very innovative, very creative, very uh, as long as they have no disruption. Vibrant. Very intelligent, uh, vibrant. And I keep telling them, use your vibrancy for positive impact. Don't go on this naysaying of politics and being derailed. Mm. You know, We have all this talent around. And we've seen it in universities, in research and development institutions, in vocational schools, in all those spaces. And the Ministry of, of, uh, of uh, uh, ICT and National Guidance has been working with us in terms of uh, the innovations, uh, protecting innovations and uh, encouraging young people to, to, to protect their innovations. And they've given the space to young people. Maybe yeah. the reason you're here as a young person. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so we appreciate the Ministry of ICT and National Guidance. Yeah. Now coming to the intellectual property landscape or the innovativeness of Uganda. Mm. Uganda has so many indicators of innovativeness. Mm. Look at the number of universities now we have. We have 65 and above universities yes. in the country. Yes. Look at pre-independence, how many universities they, they are aware. Okay. So I, I really want people to keep comparing numbers. We have all these universities. It's no longer an excuse yeah. uh, that I can't go to school because unless you are limited with funding and also... The universities are scattered everywhere, yeah. almost in Uganda. Yeah. But even before the physical um, uh, expansion and location of these universities... Universities are online, yeah. so you can study. So we have so many young innovators in these schools. We have innovators who have not gone to school. Mm -hmm. We've been seeing them young as they are, and they need to be supported. The more we, uh, 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 we, we want to campaign for uh, having innovation hubs in every locality, we have the parish development model mm -hmm. uh, that is facilitating yeah. the business mm -hmm. sector and whole household incomes and the rest. And moving but we the also 39% out of... The into the money economy. Exactly, yeah. the money economy. And we would want also to use the innovativeness of this country that we need innovation centers mm. everywhere. Either we demand that uh, all universities, <coughs> all me. universities, uh, sorry, yeah. uh, all universities take on, take on uh, um, the, uh, an innovation hub. Mm. And we have done this actually because as Uganda Registration Services Bureau, we have set up technology innovation support centers yeah. in different research and development institutions in different universities. So far we have 31 in the country. Yeah. And these are to help people do research, young people and big people to do research yeah. and check on the innovations in the whole world. That, that technology innovation support centers have all the technologies and innovations that have been protected in the whole world. Mm. It helps with research. Instead of making how many years mm. to uh, do uh, research of the same innovation that was developed in 1950. Mm. You'd rather check and say, oh, you mean this has been done elsewhere? Yeah. Because you may think it is novel, or it has not been done elsewhere, when it was done 50 years ago. Yeah. So you don't waste time doing that unless Again. you're improving it. True. You start on a different line of research. So those uh, technology innovation centers are helping out. And young people need to know their rights before they sell them. And this is the role of Uganda Registration Services where the National Intellectual Property Office has been promoting intellectual property. But you also have to appreciate the fact that Uganda Registration Services Bureau is not working alone. Yeah. There are different ministries 
departments and agencies of government and the private sector that support the innovation landscape yes. or the intellectual property landscape. Uh, the National Intellectual Property Policy of 2019 does provide that every sector of the economy, whether the education sector, health sector, entertainment sector, agriculture sector, all sectors of the economy, as you know them, oil and gas, oil and gas, mm. they must integrate a component of intellectual property yes. in them. So it's not something that you leave it to your you leave to your RSB because, like I mentioned, our role is registration. Yeah. And publica- pub- publicizing the, registr- the registration and the role of uh, the different aspects of our mandate. Yes. But intellectual property is a private right. It's a private like right. you have your own land, you have your own phone, you have your own land title or land. land. When it is trespassed upon, when somebody steals your phone, God forbid, you report to police. Mm. When somebody trespasses on your land, you report to police. The same way, if you have an innovation and you have protected it, registered it with URSB, if somebody trespasses on it or uses it without authorization mm. or makes unauthorized copies, you have a right to report to police because that's your right. But what young people are doing is that they come up with these innovations in their labs some of them use their garages, their units. They, they every, they even your phone is a lab itself. Mm. They get excited. And, yeah. Yes, they get excited, and boom! When it's functional, they just tweet. They put it on their social media pages. Oh, I've discovered this. I've this. Before you know it, you've shared information which is not protected. Yes. Uh, secondly, maybe the big boys in the marketplace or mm. the big girls, mm. are, they are waiting for <laughs> such innovations. And they'll call you and give you some money that you think is good. Uh, 20 million. Because if you are <laughs> a, a, a 20 year old, 25 year old, yeah. I mean even 10 million or 5 million will make you uh, run mad. Basing on the fact that you yes, didn't even have, have it. Anything. Yeah. So they'll call you or even you will get tempted to go and showcase it and before you know it it is taken on and there are non-disclosure agreements meanwhile in that room <laughs> where you are, are sharing uh, the content mm. and it has been taken away yeah. so what we advise is that before you get excited to go to the marketplace seek protection true if you don't even how to seek protection just consult we have lawyers around the world yeah. We have the Uganda Law Society. We have law firms. It's better to get legal legal advice. You have a cousin who knows who has a, a lawyer friend. You have a, a classmate or a classmate of your father. You know, you have somewhere. You yeah. can get somebody to give you legal advice yeah. or intellectual property advice because it does not have to be legal all the time. And uh, when you are sure is when you can protect, get the registered certificate because that certificate conclusive evidence of ownership and then start sewing it yeah. <laughs> before you go to the like market. Hi, hello guys, yes, so here's my and innovation. Then, and then yeah. that is when you'll have the, a stronger bargaining power yeah. because the innovation uh, value chain or the intellectual property value chain is classified. Yeah. There's the stage of creation and generation of intellectual property. Yes. If you're a writer, you're writing a book, you're editing it, you're researching. If you're a software developer, you're testing all kinds of apps. If you're a scientist, you're doing patenting, your utility models. And if you're a designer, you're looking for trademarks or a design or a shape. All kinds of categories that I've mentioned. Mm-hmm. So that's the first. If you're a musician, you're creating, you're in the studios, yes. testing the sound. The, the performers, you're doing all the practice. Yeah. That is the creation stage or generation stage. Then the next stage, once you are sure that you have the uh, uh, component of protection, mm. you come to register. Mm. You register only with Uganda Registration Services, but it's the only uh, the re- registry or National Intellectual Property Office where you are required to register. But beyond Uganda or beyond the borders of Uganda, you can register with the African Regional Intellectual Property Organization of which Uganda is a member state, in fact, a founding member state. And globally, you can register with the World Intellectual Property Organization and the National IP Office, Uganda Registration Services Bureau, is there to enable you to register internally, register regionally, register internationally. Mm. So that is our role. Once you have your, our certificate, you go to the market, commercialize, mm. take out your goods to the market, mm. 
get them utilized. You can even sell it. Mm. As long as you have valued it, you say, this software, this application, this book, mm. this musical work was likely to fetch for me, let's say, 500 million. Mm. Or I invested 30 million to come up with this product. Yeah. So there must be a return of a, our well, investment. The, That's why you get investment. actually, you need financial advisors. Yeah. So you, you need, need lawyers, you need yes. financial advisors. advisors. Yes. Wow. You, you need marketeers to, to, to market this product. Because you need to, to invest. Okay, you don't have to get all the profit, but these are the, th- if you want your, 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 your innovation or your business to work. And or even that your is negotiation how, yes. power. Yeah. And it will help you to value your business, if you want to sell it, if the big boys and the big girls in the market come to buy, take interest, you put a price. Yes. Put a price on your product on and your the product. process. Yeah. And they will bargain. Be According, smart. Yeah. And they bargain. Oh, yeah. And then, yeah, and it's not a must that you should sell it. Yeah. No. Or transfer it. You can decide to keep it and use it. Yes. You've seen stories, you've read stories of Facebook, you've read stories, and how all these innovations came about. Yeah. Read about them, okay. and you see they're so interesting. Absolutely. So young people, just know your rights. And when that right in the marketplace is abused, trespassed upon, people make copies, people are mu- say, playing your music on radios and stations and they are not paying you, mm. or uh, people are making copies out of your book, you have a right to sue them, because they're supposed to pay done so we, we so this is why we come in again on enforcement as government yes government comes in on registration mm. to give you the protection and the shield the way you register your land and get a title the way you register your your, your car and get a logbook yeah. the same way government gives you a certificate of registration of your innovation yes then when all that is trespassed upon government comes in through Uganda police for enforcement, yes. through the DPP for yes. courts uh, for for uh, prosecution, through courts of uh, judicature for hearing these cases, and and URSB has even an enforcement police, you, the Uganda police that is trained to enforce intellectual property, and it sits within our offices, but it also relies on all uh, intel, uh, all po- police stations across the uh, Uganda. Yeah. So all the, uh, what am I saying, Brandy? Mm. The laws are there. Yeah. So that is the legal infrastructure is there. In Uganda, very updated and good. We have the institutional infrastructure. We have all institutions mm. that do registration and enforce all these intellectual property. Yeah. Right? Right. And we, we have the infrastructure. So where is the problem? Just knowledge sharing. Just g- bridging that gap on the people that know, that have this information and the people that need it. Mm. But people are also not utilizing their time. You find an innovator finding time to do everything else, but they are not reading on these websites. All this information <laughs> is on websites, on government websites. They are not consulting and they are saying government to Yambe or government is not doing anything, but government is providing all this information. Yeah. You see, we haven't Thank put you. up the Ugandan podcast. Yes, so even this Ugandan list, podcast. So yeah. people get to know. Mm. Now, which brings us to our next uh, question for Interlude, because we are sharing a lot of information here. What are your hobbies? Okay, from now <laughs> being a lawyer to the hobbies. <laughs> well, um, I, I I am an artist yes. uh, in terms of uh, talent. I draw. Oh, I I I read. Yeah, I read a lot. I I am always reading. I'm always reading, and uh, it's one of my hobbies. I I love dancing and yeah. listening to music. I do that mainly on Fridays or at parties. Yeah, and um. I think I, I also play. Uh, I'm good at uh, snooker and, 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 and pool. Wow. You, you don't try me. Uh, I'll, I'll finish you. <laughs> so I, 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 I have actually many hobbies. So yeah. many hobbies. Yeah. So many hobbies. But uh, most of the time I am reading and, and, and I'm playing. And I also do community work. I do mm. community work through Rotary because I'm a Rotarian and an active Rotarian. We build schools, we build hospitals. We service yes, above service self. Service above self. Yeah. So I do, I, I, I do, do, do love that. I, I do that uh, a lot. Yeah, we, ap- we, appreci- we appreciate you. Leave, so yeah. yes. We appreciate you for that good work. Thank absolutely. You. Thank now, you. back into it. Yeah. The online business registration system mm. with Ministry of ICT. What's the progress report? Okay. How? First of all, on that particular uh, issue, I'd like to thank the Ministry of uh, ICT and National Guidance. Yeah. We wrote to them when we there was a need 
Mm. We say to the Ministry of ICT, a national guidance, we need uh, a good system to register businesses online. We have a system that we've been using, and internally we do 100% online registration, but we needed a homegrown system. Mm. And we wrote and and prayed that uh, we got a uh, we get a good response and we're so happy that uh, we got a response yes we got a response and the system uh, uh, has been developed and yeah. uh, will be rolled out um, by 15th of October okay. just in, in about 2 3 weeks um we have been testing it we have uh, gone through it it's going to be a game changer it's going to be a game changer and the fact that the Ministry of ICT took on everything, mm. the costs and everything. Mm. And for us, we came in at the technical level to develop it, to support the, the, the young developers that you, you gave us. Yeah, Uganda has, oh my God, I wish people knew how Ugandan young people are talented, would utilize them. That's true. Uh, Uganda has a lot of talented young people. We just need to utilize them by giving them the spaces and opportunities. Mm. We just need to uh, facilitate them to grow and empower them. We need we need to manage them. When you have a clever child in a home, you need you don't tell them don't do this, don't do this. Give them a gadget, give them something to, you know, mm. otherwise they'll be distracted. They'll be distracted. So this yeah. is why we need to address the gaps in Uganda and we want to thank the different universities and research and development and vocational centers and schools mm. that have educated these young people. And even the uneducated mm. are, are doing great, but we want to encourage even those young people that are out there mm. that need support in terms of education. Mm. It's very, they can do even much more. Yeah. So this system has been homegrown yes. and has been developed. The fact that the difference that it is local content, mm. it's been developed here by Ugandans, by Ugandans for Ugandans. Ugandans. Yeah. So when you talk about Bubu, yeah. It's not just a word. Mm. Buy, t- buy Uganda, build Uganda. Support Ugandans, build Ugandans. Mm. Support, develop the talent of young Ugandans. Mm. And you see what they would do. What they'll do so yeah. that's the beauty that has been developed here. Yeah. By young Ugandans, young innovators, supported by the Ministry of ICT. And boom, we shall be launching it. Mm. And you'll see, this system will enable people to register their businesses online 100%, 100% to get all the information to access to make payments to link within the the national uh, identification registration uh, in uh, in, uh, uh, integration uh, you Uganda revenue authority uh, the ministries of local government we, we there's a lot that is being done yeah. uh, by this uh, system. So, so it's a collaborative for, platform yes. where different government agencies that provide day to day services can plug in to and get, interact. Yes, and interact. Yeah. So it's le- le- when when the time comes close for launch, mm. uh, for the launch, the technical people will come to speak uh, mm. to it and, and the ministry. Yeah. Uh, but it's amazing. I've seen it. I've tested it. And uh, we have dry run it. And we're just waiting for the time to roll it out. Okay. And we ask you again and support it. You know, mm. the challenge is that people do not like reform. Mm. People want the status quo. Mm. Uh, people also want to work in silos. Uh, the private the sector, back and forth. the ministries, departments yeah. and agencies, everyone wants to shine. Mm. But we don't care who shines. Yeah. Like now I would have said it is a URSB thing, but yeah. we're saying it's a government of Uganda yeah. platform. Yeah. Supported by the Ministry of ICT. Yeah. We don't care who takes the credit mm. because we know those who know, know. Mm. So let's work together as a country. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. <laughs> and we have to support one another yeah. as we grow our country. That's so true. I'm proud that yeah. we are working with the Ministry of ICT mm. and other uh, uh, institutions to grow our economy through the support to formalization. Because when you have such a system in place, yeah. wow, wow, the formalization of the economy is enabled. Yeah. So we are all enablers. So yeah. maybe my question to the people out there, mm. the ministries, yeah. the departments, the agencies in the private sector, what is your contribution yeah. to the formalization? Of the national economy. Mm-hmm. What is your contribution? Mm. How have you enabled people to come on that register? Because it's very important. Mm. Government cannot plan for you. Like the Ministry of Finance planning. Economic development. Yes. They can't plan for you when you are not registered. Uganda has a register of businesses that is less than 1 million. We have 800 now, 850,000 
registered businesses in Uganda. And I told you yeah. from 1913. From 19 when you look at the pre 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 independence registration before 1962, the statistics were very very low, very very low. Yeah. Post independence, we have done quite a lot. Then of course after 1986, mm. that is when things <laughs> run fast yeah. because of the environment of business. I'm not politicking, yeah. but I'm showing we sit on the registers. Yeah. We sit on the registers where we sit because there are receipts for yes. these things. Yes, there are receipts for these yeah, things. Yeah, the political environment is there. Yeah. The business environment is there. Yeah. The legal environment is there. Yeah. The technological environment is here, and the ministry, the ministry is doing much, yeah. much, much better. The environmental, you know, everything is here. Yeah. The economic environment, though, with some uh, change, uh, challenges here and there yeah, and because there. of COVID nineteen and and every uh, and other uh, challenges. I mean, we are moving as a, and, as Uganda, yeah. and if we take that mindset. And become patriotic mm. and love our country. Mm. We we'll see where we are going. This country is ours. Whether you like the current government or not, this country is ours. Yeah, you and you don't have ours. to join politics yeah, to contribute yeah, to your to country. Contri yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. Contribute to your country in all ways you can. In in all ways you can. Osirike. Yeah. Ha! Game time. What are your top three things you love about Uganda? Oh Uganda the peace. The peace. The peace because, well, I, I, I've i lived in the period of peace yeah. because uh, uh, that is the only period I remember. Yeah. Um, but because my parents all the time told us and tell us that mm. you people, we had all the wealth, we had everything that we had, but we never slept in our houses. Mm. And my father always insisted, almost on a daily, it is during this peaceful time mm. that I have enjoyed my wealth and I've slept in my house. Yeah. Do you know having all this wealth and you cannot sleep in your house? Do you know having all these offices and you cannot you don't know whether you'll get home yeah. so peace is the most important mm. and the freedom only that i have a challenge that i find too much freedom also <laughs> messing up the state <laughs> like when you give a child freedom come at night anytime go they come decide at to come in the morning yeah. uh, come. you know they abuse it yeah. they abuse it so uh, i've been you know i read a lot yeah. I, I i'm a follower of lee kuan yu Ooh. of singapore mm. so rest in eternal peace mm. and i know how he regulated some things mm. some things like media the freedom it was for the good can you imagine during lee kuan yu's time you don't only publish good things about your country yeah you're not allowed to talk about any negativity yeah don't spoil people's energy yes yeah. but look at <laughs> what is around it is almost everything negative yeah. this one doesn't have qualification this one does, does, does. not that we don't audit and critique yeah. you can critique but we are we get derailed yeah. and you have this fatigue and hate for your country even those that are innocent and the outsiders mm. look at us as different yeah. how many ugandans promote uganda what? how many ugandans promote uganda fairly uh, how many fairly media number. houses promote uganda how many young people today, yeah. this young generation, love and promote their country? I actually do. They yeah. are just and, a few. And there are also others. They are, there they are few. Are they are very There's few. Daniela, Rita, yes, yes. They are very few. Yeah. So, my next question, Brandy. Yes, please. If we do not market the good in our country, mm. who will do it for us? Absolutely no one. It's like a family. Mm. I always take the country as a family. When you have a family... Either married, family by marriage, or family by you know birth. Mm. We have challenges. Every family in on this earth has challenges. Yes. Even the 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 the, the ones the, we the, see the, the, on the ones TV. you see on TV and the church. Uh, the ones you see in you matching know, outfits. The palace, even people in palaces. Yeah, you've been seeing what was going on. I yeah. mean, they have challenges. Yes, yes. But do they bring them out? They don't. They organize they say, these themselves. are family issues. Let's yeah. keep them in the boardroom. Let's fix our nuts. Yeah. But we present this. So I take my country as a family. Yeah. That I don't have to go and speak on TV, speak to the whole world that Uganda is bad just by one element. Yeah. No, I can say Uganda is good. It has tourism. It has peace. It has uh, the freedom of transaction. Innovation it has ecosystem. An ecosystem. Apart from even a few spaces, the it's weather. very hard for yeah. a Ugandan who is in one of the cities to go hungry, to sleep hungry. Yeah. At least you take Chikomando. Uh, and uh, at least the food. And where, yeah. You have a very... In Uganda, it's only in Uganda po where you beans. go on a buffet mm. and you move kilometers <laughs> of different... 
serving and food. kinds <laughs> of foods. Yeah. But in other countries, you just make one step and it's done. It's we have <laughs> taken things for granted. Yeah. We have taken things for granted. We are too satisfied. Of course, I know uh, uh, other people will have challenges with these comments. But this is the truth. We've been here. Not that for long, but we have seen it. Mm. It's not that we don't have challenges. We have we, as individuals. Yeah, as we have as, individuals, as citizens. Yeah. We have school fees. What we school well, fees? Well, you know, you're te- <laughs> well, I don't know about school fees because yeah. I have people take care of that. Well so, done. <laughs> <laughs> Must be nice. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I mean, yeah. uh, uh, it, these things happen. Yeah. These things happen. You have a schedule. You, you have, have to do it. You have to we show are, up for we, we are all hustling. We are all hustlers in yeah. a way. We are working. We are, not that uh, I am moving and. Coming here, I had meetings from 6.30, I have what, you have this, you have to make sure from here, people are waiting for me. We are all working hard. Yeah. But people see in this office and they think, aha, you're the people eating your money. <laughs> Come on. It is actually our money that is, uh, we, are, we are using to. You get it. Yeah. So we don't want to victimize people. Yes. Let people enjoy their spaces. Let people serve because we also get time to live. So I love my country. Yeah. Even when I may not mean the best space yeah. even when i may be going through a challenge i love my country True. let's promote our country yes. and we have to teach our children mm. and i've been asking actual universities mm. where they can put courses to love can't, our country i know you can't force love yeah huh? you know they, mm. i don't think there's any school where they took us you have to love your husband like this you have to love like yeah. this no it yeah. happens naturally but where we are as young people we need to engage yeah. and tell them stories about their country so that they love some countries in the neighborhood elsewhere they love their countries and they will showcase what is good so i love my country yes and there's so many things i love some i've mentioned okay, okay. all right so uh <coughs> parting shots what aspirations does uh ursb have moving forward okay uh uganda registration services bears a registry we have been expanding we are in different and even locations. And you've got new offices here. Yes, oh, congratulations. Yes, I am coming. I'm saving the best for last. <laughs> uh, we are in different locations in this country. We are in Arua, yeah. we are in Gulu, we are in Bale, we are in Masaka, we are in Barara, yeah. we are in, in, in Nachivubo, we are in, at Poster Office, we are at Georgian House. Now we are in our own building at, U, uh, at Uganda Business Facilitation. We called it Uganda Business Facilitation Center mm. because it's going to house all institutions that facilitate businesses. Mm. So it's more like a one-stop center. One stop center that when you business. get into the building, you get everything, including our registration and all the licenses that require and information yeah. which is related to that. So in Kololo, Baskavi Road, uh, uh, we've been there for the last one week. Yeah. And uh, the next uh, point of uh, location will be the Albertine region, because we need support uh, the players in the oil and gas to formalize their businesses. Absolutely. And beyond that, we are going to roll out that online system mm. very soon. So we'll be everywhere. Yeah. Um, apart from our visibility and our location, we also want to um, expand more in terms of our archives. Uh, we are looking at uh, setting up a set of art archival center because we story we register we keep all these registers since the 1910s uh, and we need to see that uh, they are safe um we are rolling out campaigns especially on communication many people up to now do not know why they have to register mm. and we've been promoting the benefits of registration mm. we are opening very soon an innovation hub yeah. to help uh, uh, young people to uh, innovate uh, more and even old people, by the way, mm, true old people. We um we we, are part, uh, uh, we we are also of course are implementing the national development plan. Uh, the, all the programs we feed into all the strategic uh, uh, plans of uh, uh, the strategic objectives of the national development plan, and um, uh, we we good and and we want to make sure that uh, we roll out a mass campaign on registration mm. uh, so that uh, as many people register because you would want to deal with a registered entity we have so many people especially the artisans the welders they do good work mm. the carpenters they do good work mm. but they are not registered they are not known and many of them with due respect mm. to carpentry and welding many of them you pay them money and before you know it they are nowhere and they have shifted. <laughs> you can't trace them. <laughs> uh, 
you know, and we have so many entities that yeah. have dealt with such kinds of people. Yeah. But beyond that, we also have entities. You give a contract to supply goods mm. to non-registered companies, which have, even when you see a name, that brandy, mm. brandy agencies limited, mm. first confirm with URSB, yeah. because all these signposts that you see on the streets of Uganda and be, uh, uh, of Kampala and beyond. B- BK Enterprises. All those, uh, many of them yeah. are not registered. Yeah. I've told you that we have a register of less than one million. Yeah. Many of them are not registered. They're and just so you're dealing with them, they're giving invoices, yeah. you're giving them business. And the day they commit any offense and they don't supply, you can't take them to court yeah. because they are not registered. Mm. You can't even trust the owners. Yeah. So do not deal with an entity that is not registered. Yeah. And to the young people using innovations, do not also... So people's innovations, mm. even the people, the big boys and the big girls, respect intellectual property. Yeah. The broadcasters respect intellectual property. Give their music, the musicians their, their money. money. You but know what it, ca- what, it, what, what it takes to come up with that musical work? As an artist, you would know. Yes, as an artist. Mm. People go to studio, people do makeup, people do high up spaces, places for this entertainment. People buy clothes, people invest a lot. Yeah. I think a minimum beautiful video you can put in like 30 million. Yeah. Just at the minimum. And before you know it, it is playing all over. <laughs> and you're not gaining. Our Ugandan artists it's in someone's be movie. It's in someone's movie. Yes. They did pay. They didn't pay. Yeah. They didn't pay. So people have to pay. Mm. People have to pay for the intellectual property work. Mm. The books that people are publishing, why make photocopies? You're not authorized to make photocopies. You're not. <laughs> so actually many so people yeah. are doing intellectual property theft. By ignorance, yeah. others by intention. Yeah. Because if you're making copies of movies or of music and you're downtown Kampala or even uptown Kampala yeah. and you're selling this non-original mm. CD, mm. DVD or putting that music on a flash mm. and the owner has not earned <laughs> anything, what do you think? You think the owner created that work for you to become rich and you don't... You can get rights, yeah. authorization to sell original works. Mm. Now, if you ask me why people sell original CDs in Kampala, mm. there are not so many known spaces that I will go and buy Chameleon's song or Winnie Noaji's uh, music or, or, or Rema's music or, uh, uh, you know, v- v- Vinka, my, mm. one of my best musicians. I see you know your yes, artists yes. properly. I know my artists yeah. because I really cry out for them. Yeah. Until we get, these artists get their returns on investment. That's when I will retire. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, no. Yeah. no, but let's yeah. support them. Let's, let's support let's them. Let's do really. it. I yeah. agree. So URSB is, has big plans. Mm. Um, so many big plans. So just watch the space. But our message out there is that formalize your businesses. Mm. Come register with us in all those spaces that I've mentioned because there's a lot to benefit for you mm. and your children mm. and your great grandchildren. Children. What's your favorite season of the year? What? That's yeah. a hard question. Hey, there's Christmas, there's Easter, oh. there's Premier League, there's what? There's <laughs> <laughs> Premier League, okay. Of course, uh, I, I love football and I'm an Arsenal supporter, so I, 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 uh, whether you like it or not, <laughs> that is who we are. Yeah. I think she gets uh, a strong Chris, will, so it's I, nice. I think Christmas, yeah. Christmas season, Christmas season because... Yeah. I spend more time with my family. And you know family is key. I yeah. spend more time with my family. Family is everything. Yes, family is everything. Yeah. By the way. Family yeah. is everything. Life starts with family and mm. ends with family. Yeah. That's my saying. Mm. So however successful you may be, mm. however big you may think that you have out, you can't you associate arrived. with you, you have arrived, <laughs> however think, you will still remain a family member. Like, but naturally, yeah. that's your family. So in whatever we do, actually my advice is that let's not live out our family. Let's remember that we have family. Yeah. Let's give time to our families, our spouses, our children. Let's give time to the people that we are we are born with, our family, our uncles. Let's give time to, uh, let's check on our uncles and uh, aunties in the villages, mm. whether we have what. Uh, you know, it's, family is good. Family is part of us. Yeah. So you can't, uh, if you don't have any family, just create your own. Create your own. So Christmas is good. I get to have good family time mm. and I always take off time uh, to, to, oh, for leave okay actually, yeah, okay that's, spend more time that's nice that's nice yes. actually yeah so we are almost in fact we are at the end but would like you to have do you have any parting shots or words of hope love encouragement to anyone listening or watching you on the Ugandan <coughs> podcast okay mm. 
you mean we are ending it now? I thought uh, oh, no, I, no. I was just starting. <laughs> <laughs> I was just starting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It um, has really been fun actually. Yeah. Cutting short. I I have passion for mentoring young people. Mm. And I believe there's that gold in young people that we never dig out. Mm. I believe that uh, every young person needs somebody to listen to them, somebody to share with them because they are great and like I mentioned they are talented and some are dealing with a lot because mm. of the family background maybe they didn't see love in their families maybe they have too much uh, they are spoiled and they need to be shaped, shaped yeah. so i mentor young people and uh, i also don't give up on people easily yeah i don't give up on people easily uh, especially strangers i always say what if that person was my child mm. would i give them up just easily So I keep on encouraging people when you see on my handles. I do a lot of encouragement especially when I used to be active on Facebook before it was uh, formally put on hold. Mm. I miss Facebook because But I don't know. Twitter. Share. You really enjoy yes, Twitter. I do. I do Twitter. <laughs> and, and I do it myself. I really enjoy it. You don't have a handler. No, I do it myself. I'm, oh. I'm a communicator naturally. By the way, you are. I am a natural communicator. I told you I I I I I I uh, among the artistic talents I, I, I have is writing. Yeah. I have I, I write because okay. I read a lot and I handle my 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 my, my handles yeah. personally. Okay. So um uh let, let's encourage and support these young people. Yes. And uh, let's mentor them because uh it's it's a generation Uh, that needs support and these are the leaders of today and tomorrow and, tomorrow. and uh, sometimes i imagine in the next uh, few years i'll not be in this space i'll yeah. be somewhere maybe in private legal practice or doing my own business or running around or even in the bahamas so, just living your best life oh yes life. oh yes why yeah. not <laughs> but, but i love living in uganda oh, yeah, <laughs> i'm so stuck we, here yeah, so we, <laughs> I, i'm in stuck Rwanda. here yes yeah. Yeah, in uganda i love li- living here i love my country but going there for holidays and coming back is a good idea mm. so i think we need to support the young people true every young p- if we are leaders and influencers in this country and you don't have young people that you're holding into a mentorship or coaching whether by the nature of your work or whether by just invitation then who are you influencing mm. so i wish i wish i was the present for a day mm. i would ask every every elder every person 40 40 years and above yeah get <clears throat> a line of 20 people yeah young people below you mm. and mentor them teach them to see how much will change this country yeah You see True. how much will change this country. True. The same as schools mm. and universities and research and institutions and vocational centers. Mm. Let us attach young people so that they 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 learn uh and I like the fact that the inter- universities are uh, usher out students for internship now mm. in our time we do internship uh, when we're at Lord Development Center postgraduate but now you're in first year second year and you you go for 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 internship. That's true. It helps. It helps these young people. So let's not let them down. Let's not, but also the reverse is true. The, reverse the young true. people. Mm. Don't think that people who are above 40 have no brain. Yeah. Young people They have nothing to tell you. Tell you there's a lot to yeah. learn yeah. from these senior people. Yeah. So respect. Yeah. Respect the old people. Respect Listen. the senior people. There's yeah. a lot to learn from them. Yeah. Biblically, even in the Quran, this the elders, you look at how the young people lived those days. They got blessings from their elders. True. They got blessings from their parents. They got blessings from their leaders. So, you think you have arrived and you don't want to listen. <laughs> listen. You think you have a degree to take you spaces. No. That degree is nothing. <laughs> you need character. Yeah. You need integrity. You need discipline. So to the young person out there, listen. With your eyes and ears, mm. and I'm saying it, listen with your eyes and ears. Mm. And I'm using listening mm. intentionally. Yeah. So do not just feel that you have arrived. Yeah. You have not yet. We were there. We were also young at one time. I always say it. We were young. Even my mom says it. Yes. Like you think you're the first. Yes, exactly. Uh, like, eh, why? We were young. We used to, there's a, a soap that we used to play on those TVs. Young and Restless. Yeah. Those are, You don't know you are not yet born. Uh, <laughs> so young and restless. But we are young and not restless. Yeah. We are young and innovative. We are young. And that's why we're in these spaces. Yeah. So if you feel that you have arrived 
and you feel that every elder should clear the way for you to succeed. Mm. And also maybe lastly, the doctrine of abundance. Mm. Many people think that when, for you to succeed, you have to first kill somebody. Mm. <clears throat> or for you to succeed, you have to first paint sa- somebody saddling. You see Brandy or Brown, eh? mm. somebody will paint you black. <laughs> Like brand is a defamation. Yeah, defamation. Mm. Ru- reputation ruining. Mm. You know, people t- spend years building their reputation. And just a mere tweet full of lies. Marcella Kareche said it widely. Yes, a mere podcast. tweet yeah. just kills everything. Yeah. And you think you can just go like that after killing somebody's reputation? God is watching. Even Kama is coming. Kama, Kama. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm telling you. So young people, let's learn. Let's do reverse learning. Let's do uh, reverse mentorship. Respect people. And don't play with people's reputations. Don't play with people's names. Mm. If you're not sure, don't. Don't. Even, even, if, you're so not, even if you're sure. Yes, yes, don't. Mind your business. Yes, mind your business. <laughs> Mind your business. Let people do their thing. Unless uh, the, Unless whatever they're doing is criminal is and it's affecting people's yes. rights. Yes. But please respect people. Yes. And then you'll be respected. So there's a doctrine of abundance where you can succeed, Brandy, like you're succeeding. Amen. Thank you. And your other peer can also succeed in their space. True. I can succeed as a leader mm. where I am now. And another colleague, you mentioned Marcella, can succeed. Yeah. I call her Marcella yeah. all the time, and she, I think she's like, okay, yeah, well, Marcella, 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 what happened? <laughs> okay. yeah. So, you see, yeah. we can all succeed in our lens, in our spaces, yeah. and make it. I don't have to kill somebody. Yeah. I don't have to kill somebody's reputation. I don't have to undermine somebody for me to succeed. That's true. God has created abundance, yeah. and there are blue oceans out there. Yes. So we can go and swim in every space, yeah. and we'll succeed. Amen. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You but I just started. I know you have just started, but, but the, this episode, uh, we have to now come to an end. Okay. For real, Thank for real. You. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. What are your social media handles that we can find you for more okay. information? Um, for, for, for Twitter, mm. at Marcy Keynes. Mm. Uh, that's Twitter. Did you say LinkedIn. Marcy Keynes? Marcy Keynes. Oh, a short wow. form of Kainobish from Marcy Keynes. You're actually very cool. Yes. Mm-hmm. And uh, for LinkedIn, Marcy K, Kainobish. For Facebook, I still use the same name. Yeah. For Instagram, I use Kenobi Show. Yeah. So I think uh, you can get me on those. No, you do a TikTok. Ah, TikTok um, is coming. It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Very soon, by the yeah. way. Also, what's Very your soon. K name? Huh? You have the K name. The K is uh, Chomgasho, means useful. Yeah. So, but because it is long, I always abbreviate it. So your Masi. Chomgasho, Kinobisho. Uh, Kinobisho. And Chomgasho, for those who don't know, is a very useful and valuable person. And Kinobisho, someone who can uh, see. Yeah, Kinobisho is a family name, mm. but somebody that can see far. Somebody somebody that has vision. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, somebody that has vision. And, and, and the socials yeah. for URSB? Oh, it is um, uh, Uganda right. Registration Services Bureau, uh, URSB HQ. HQ. Yeah, HQ. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and uh, the LinkedIn is Uganda Registration Services Bureau. Yeah. The Facebook, we are disciplined people. We mm. We, we have it, but we have not been active until we get a, a, a ban lifted. Why do you sound like you're the police? <laughs> no, no, Munangi. We, you know, we are, we are compliant citizens. Yeah. We love our country. Okay, so. we have given you 10 marks. <laughs> 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 and I've been your girl, Brandy Valentine Azira. You can catch me on uh, at Brandy Cool Instagram, uh, Valentine Brandy on Twitter. And uh, yeah, and on other platforms, just put brandy, you'll find someone somewhere. <laughs> and for the Ministry of ICT, as usual, it's at MOICT underscore UG. And we have enjoyed every bit of this episode. I hope you've learned a thing or two or three or even four because this has been nice. And we have said all these things for God and our country. And we say, bye.